Hey, how you doing? And welcome to the Rodney Allen Rippey Show. It is No Sleep with Rodney Allen Rippey, and we're going to have a great guest today. And this guy is just amazing. He's been doing so many things in education, but this guy is very well-rounded. And when you get a chance to listen to this guy, it's amazing what he's doing for the youth, education, and so much more. I'd like to present to you Mr. Bill Montgomery. Where you at, Bill? Hey, Rodney, how are you? All right. Well, we have with us Mr. Bill Montgomery. Bill, I can't say enough about you. I've been knowing you for a number of years and, you know, having the pleasure to work with you and go out to schools and meet some of the youth. I mean, thousands and thousands of you. And you know, what you are embarking on is legendary. And not only your past, um, you, you know, so many uh, things about you that I'm sure my viewers will just be blown away. So without further ado, Bill, tell my, tell my viewers out there a little bit about yourself. Well, first of all, um, I'm a, you know, man, got a couple, couple daughters. Uh, one in high school and one in college. So I certainly understand the, uh, the youth movement and kind of what's needed, Rodney. And behind me, as you can see on my screen, um, I have uh, astronauts, which we've been doing some, NASA has been doing and SpaceX has been doing some great things. Um, and people really need to know um, when these things are happening, why, and more importantly, how that they can be involved. So. I'm really involved with the youth movement, with the transportation and technology. And I have been for many years, Rodney, and that, that's kind of what we're going to talk about. You know, how long I've been doing it, who are some of the people I know. As you know, I found you, um, and uh, we're, we're trying to make things happen. Well, Bill, I mean, I'm talking to you over the years and things like that, and you also start out your career as a military man. Is that correct? Absolutely. And uh, they just had Veterans Day uh, about yep. a week and a half ago. Uh, thank you for all the veterans. And I'm, I'm proud and happy to serve, Ronnie. So I was in the U.S. Army, 82nd Airborne, paratrooper. Woohoo! There you go. Well, big shout out for all our military people out there. And so, Bill, you know, when we met, you were working with uh, another great uh, 501c3, their education partners uh, and their prime motivation. And they're based out of Chula Vista, California. And it's amazing to uh, have spent time with you and to go out to the various schools here in Southern California and to uh, meet the youth, to see them, to see their excitement. And it's really sad, you know, when we were back in high school, back in the day, you could take wood shop, metal shop, you could go to electronics, automotive classes, but all of these core uh, vocational careers are gone. All this training, these opportunities. And so that's what Prime Motivation was all about. And so you're still working with Prime Motivation, but you've taken it up a notch. And that's where you've created a fine group of people, top-notch VIPs, and you're calling them Hidden Pioneers. Where did that come from, Bill? Well, Ronnie, just to back step a little bit on Prime Motivation, uh, I want to uh, thank um, Ed Arguelles, who's the founder CEO. Mm -hmm. uh, how you doing, Ed? I'm out of, out of San Diego. And uh, we started with mobile electronics, actually. I heard you say, you know, electronics. Yeah. Um, I, I started um, as an installer, uh, part-time, mm -hmm. and kind of worked my way up. And um, mm -hmm. that was a big thing back then with the stereo stuff, you know, with, with the cars. That was a movement that I, I don't think is dead. I think it, it's still there. It's just... Uh, it's what we put in front of the youth. Um, so over the years, uh, meeting people, you know, staying, you know, persistent uh, with, with, with people. Um, I came across a bunch of people like yourself and, and with my cousin, which I'm sure we're going to get into, um, came up with the Hidden Pioneers, uh, people that are kind of hidden. Uh, many of them want to want to be hidden. Um, and uh, because they, they're just humble and um, they just kind of do what they do. So I'm trying to 
hook up with the right people to get the media exposure, mm-hmm. which thank you very much for what you're doing. You know, you're, you're a media guy and um, we're, it's time for us to, to really do this. So um, thank you for the opportunity to, to talk about, you know, what I'm doing and how I created Hidden Pioneers. It's only been uh, not even two years yet, Rodney. And mm-hmm. we have some amazing people um, what you're going to get into when you start naming, as you know, you're one of them. So uh, there you go, Hidden Pioneers. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great honor, Bill, to be working with you. And I mean, I've met a lot of great people over time. I mean, being involved in the entertainment industry, traveling and meeting so many great people. But through people like you, Bill, I've met people that I never thought I'd make. I mean, it, meet people like race car drivers, people from NASA and all of these great people, um, oftentimes, and you're correct, there are some people who have been uh, in the shadows, maybe not by choice. You know, sometimes when people are working for corporations and things, these big entities come in and they make these people push back and stay in the shadows. But, you know, what you're doing with Hidden Pioneers it's very inspirational. You're actually inspiring the youth and you're showing that they can dream big, that they can reach from here all the way into the stratosphere and, and, and all the way into space. And so that's where you've been involved with, uh, you know, transportation and technology. Now, Bill, when you say transportation technology, what all is that in, encompass? Good question. Um, Rodney, I'm, I'm actually writing a book and the name of it's going to be The First Step of Mankind. The first steps um, walking is part of transportation. And True. the first two steps out of your bed, a lot of people don't think about that. So you got walking, riding a bicycle, a skateboard, uh, vehicles, boats, rovers, um, jet skis, uh, basically point A to point B. It's as simple as that. And uh, a lot of people, just kind of lose sight of that. And uh, we're trying to uh, educate them on exactly what it is, but you you got to go back, you know, mm-hmm. we're so far forward with the technology piece that we just kind of have to slow down and we have to really explain to people what transportation really is because it, right. you know, you, you can forget, as you, you know? Yeah, I mean, and when you start talking about transportation, anything that moves, you know, planes, boats, trucks, cars. I mean, it's the little things that we take for granted. But when you start talking about technology and transportation, that's how industries move. That's how this whole world moves. And to get to work, you got to have transportation, be it whether it's your own vehicle or whether you're using public transportation, whatever it is, transportation is very, very critical. But when you are working with these youth, A lot of times there's been pushback from educators and and, and people in general because they have a misconception of, you know, what some of these vocational classes are all about. You know, even when it comes down to automotive repair, well, guess what? Through Hidden Pioneers, you're showing some of the young people that it isn't about just turning the wrench. You could be a designer. You can be an engineer. You can work on the the uh, efficiency side and there's so many places and and that's a very neat thing that you're you're sharing with the youth yeah i think ronnie i think the hidden pioneers was was came about to get some of the people that uh came from the high schools and colleges and went on to do some great things uh some of the people have kind of been there done that you know you were a childhood actor back in the day and we just don't put uh, these kind of hidden pioneers on the school campus. Right. Uh, and that's really uh, where we have to be because the kids need to, they need to see it. They need to hear from you. Uh, mm-hmm. They need to know that, well, how can I be like such and such? And, and, and they're going to go towards a professional athlete or, or something yeah. like that. And we're the hidden pioneers. We're the humble ones that we like to go in and talk to the kids like yourself and say, look, you know, and, and show them the way and be there for them. Right. So it's, it's, it's the gift to be able to have so many great people, Rodney. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, people like Randy Hopla, who's got a place in Lake Elsinore, 
that's an amazing place. Can you imagine if, if, if we took kids to that place, what, what would happen? And Randy you know, would they, never get any sleep because he'd have bus loads of kids parked outside of his uh, beautiful museum. It, it's incredible. Yes, I've been yeah. there with you, and thank you, Bill, for introducing me to, to Mr. Hoppler. Just fantastic. I mean, he's just one of many. Yeah, he's just he's one of many. You got, you got Larry Wood. You know, we were just there. You know, he's going to be. Uh, mm -hmm. You interviewed him, Rodney. Mr. And he, he, he said a lot of great things about the about the kids and how he's passionate about and he's showing the kids how to work with their hands and stuff like that. Th this is the stuff that we need to do today. And right. we're going to ask people uh, February 20th and 21st, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to throw, I'm gonna throw that out every, every chance I get right. So I'm just telling you now, you're going to hear yeah. it. You know, the, the Global Diversity Summit, which is something yeah. that, you know, I came up with and went to you and we came up with a name. And uh, we're very excited about that because mm -hmm. we're really hoping to change the culture and the image by having this, this is the first annual, so obviously we want to have more, but the first one, Rodney, we want to really capture the hearts and the souls of pe millions of people all over the world. We want to create a movement. So, you know, the hiddenpioneers.com, uh, that's mm -hmm. where our landing page is, is there. Mm -hmm. And we're constantly upgrading that as we bring more sponsors and people involved. So we're, we're creating this, and again, it's, www.hiddenpioneers.com. That's the landing page. Yeah. Uh, and then if you want to know more information about yourself, Rodney, and you know, other great hidden pioneers, you can go to montgomerypioneers.com. Um, but again, let's walk first before we run. So the first thing I want mm -hmm. people to know about is the landing page for the Diversity Summit, the Global Diversity Summit, February mm -hmm. 20th and 21st, Black History Month. Okay. Yeah. You can go to www.hiddenpioneers.com. Check us out, Rodney, and yeah. they can get a hold of us from there. And we'd be glad to have people from all over the world tune in so they can see some of these people live, mm -hmm. virtual, um, and talking about how they want to help the kids. And we don't just talk about it, Rodney. And you know, we are actually yeah. doing things. And That's we don't right. stop, whether it be the COVID. Um, as you know, uh, I was able to, to do Zoom. Uh, two and a half years ago before people even knew what Zoom was. Um, that, that's why I know it's a gift because I would have never known that we'd be in this virtual space like we are now, you know, but I got this information early on. So, hey, I think it's a sign. Here we are today. All good. Now These good. crazy technology, but you know, the, mo the most important thing, Bill, is, I mean, one of so many things you were talking about how um, Hidden Pioneers has actually impacted. There's a young lady that is just a phenomenal artist. Tell me a little bit about her. Absolutely. Uh, Jennifer Rodriguez, mm -hmm. uh, Hispanic, uh, wonderful young lady. Um, she, had a, she had a dream. Um, mm -hmm. She didn't know uh, that she would meet me. I didn't know I would meet her. And through Prime Motivation, we happened to be on the, on the campus, which is why we're trying to do a fundraiser so we can go on more campuses and get more Jennifer Rodriguez. Right. Back to Jennifer. Um, she's living her dream now. She's actually uh, going to a prestigious art center school in mm -hmm. San Francisco, one of the best. And she's being mentored by one of our very own hidden pioneers, Tom Matano. Well, I mean, it's all about connections. That's what this is all about. Now, Bill, you got to let the, the viewers out there know you have a very special person in your family. And is it true that's been one of the, your big driving forces behind you? It, it, it really has, uh, Rodney's, um, especially late over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Now, I was doing some things, you know, we had prime motivation, you know, 2004, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but that's the driving force behind the, the, the NASA. And, and, and the big STEM push, because I, I didn't have that connection. Um, but man, when I found out that my cousin was Catherine Johnson, all she did, so the first thing I did was I really kind of researched uh, everything. And I, I gotta be honest with you, Rodney, I didn't even know hardly anything about NASA. I didn't know what it stood for. Um, I didn't even know why we were going to the moon. Right. Um, and which a lot of people don't know. They just don't, they don't even know why we're going to space. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm trying to change that because 
and we must go there because Brian, wow. there's so many things that NASA is doing uh, with the global economy, the uh, you know into the water, the weather. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that NASA they were one of the first ones uh, to make the ventilator for the COVID. Um, I mean, it's more than just being an astronaut. Um, mm -hmm. As you know, NASA, uh, we just sent four humans up last week, um, a, a female, uh, an African-American, a regular American, and a Japanese. Now, wow. that's the diversity part that yeah. who, could, who could imagine today that, and, and that's what we're talking about a lot uh, mm -hmm. uh, today in, in this world. And NASA, uh, they're just on all cylinders doing great things Wow. And a lot of people don't know about it. So we, as hidden pioneers, we're happy to have that collaboration mm -hmm. uh, with them. And I'm trying to work on a good partnership like SpaceX has. So, but again, I understand we have to be patient. Okay, you know, we talked about those five P's that you that you mm -hmm. know about. Okay, patience oh, yeah. is the first one. Rodney, we've been more than patient. Okay, right. But the people that we have. It's people like you that has to get us out there. And that's why we're on the call today. So thank you very much. Well, and, and I appreciate you, Bill. Like I said, and everything that you're doing for the youth, it's just a good fit, you know, and, you know, no sleep with Rodney Allen Rippey. You know, this show is not going to be your typical show because we're going to have everything from entertainment, sports, technology, and I'm going to have some of the coolest people and even, even more hidden pioneers out there because I'll be honored to be able to have some of the people that, you have introduced me to and just have them on the show because they are huge, huge reputations, huge accomplishments. And it's just amazing. And, and I think a lot of people don't get their proper shine. And that's what this is all about. But it's also about entertainment. It's about education. It's about inspiration because this whole world needs it. And also, big shout out to E360. Talk about that a little bit, Bill, in the, the World Diversity Summit. Sure. We actually, Ronnie, it's, um, you know, every day uh, I'm being blessed with these, these different people and different words. Mm -hmm. uh, 360 has been, has been coming up, you know, uh, quite a bit lately. And right. uh, as you know, uh, 360 is a waters technology uh, product. That's right. And they've been coming to the campus. Uh, they mm -hmm. have a great product. It's waters technology. We've been showing the kids. Shout out to Brandon and Robert yep. and Becky uh, for being there to support. And mm -hmm. they, they've stuck through it, you know. They they put countless hours and, and the products to show the kids. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, it, it's an amazing product. It's, it's, right. it's easy to use. Mm -hmm. um, and again, waterless technology. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of the high schools, they don't allow the water out there. Uh, we can't even wash the cars. They stop it. Right. So, but this product, it allows us to go there and teach and educate the so that's great technology, and that's right. a 360 on that part. Now, a new 360 is the people that are going to be streaming our virtual event. That's right. And that's E360 TV. And, Rodney, you, you've talked to, to Aaron and, and Aggie on, on the phone. We're going to continue to talk with them so that we can tweak it and we can get the tech people, you know. I mean, you're one of them to work with Ben at the Downey Space Center. So... We got a little work to do from a technical standpoint, but we we, we feel confident uh, that we're it's going to be a great uh, virtual event. Uh, we have the right people. They this isn't their first time doing it. Um, they've had a fifty thousand people tune in at a time. So I don't want the potential sponsors to to think that you know things aren't going to go right or we don't have the expertise. We absolutely do, Robert. I mean, uh, Rod, Rodney, we've um, yeah. we've been blessed to get some, and we're still getting people. Um, Right. We have some uh, NASA employees that, that's going to commit their time, uh, and the list is just phenomenal. In fact, we have more talent than time. I went from yep. one day to two days, and I'm trying to, you know, squeeze all in because I, I could probably go to three or four days. But we're gonna sure. we're gonna we're gonna keep it to the two, uh, Saturday yep. and Sunday. Uh, right now, the hours like you know, twelve to six, twelve to eight. I think it's twelve to eight on Saturday, twelve to six, and that's just because we got so many wonderful people, Ronnie, that want to help. The youth, they want right. to help. They want to give their expertise out. Um, mm -hmm. This isn't something where uh, I'm having to, to drag these people. Man, I'm, at this point, I might have to put a time limit because it, a lot of people want to help right now, and that's a great thing, including yourself. Right. 
Well, we want to make sure that, you know, and Bill, we'll make sure that we share uh, the invite. We want all of the no sleep viewers out there to make sure that you plan for it. Get your students, get your family, get your youth, get everybody in your community, churches, let the youth know to make sure that they are logged on for the World Diversity Summit. And that's coming up in February. So that's going to be some awesome opportunities for young people to see and be inspired by some of the greatest minds out there. And so, Bill, that's what it's all about. I mean, we're having fun and, you know, we come from all, all types of backgrounds, you know, from, you know, the car culture to education, you know, and the, and it's only the best is yet to come. And that's what it's all about. And so if you are watching this show, if you feel that young people need to have more vocational uh, opportunities, get in contact with me. We need support. We want to get behind Bill. We look for major corporations to come, pour dollars on this so more youth, because right now there's a, a lot going on. How many youth are really torn from education because of this incredible global pandemic? Kids are not having even less opportunity to have any type of hands-on interaction, this is going to be a major, major shift in education. But it's people like you, Bill. You're still bringing education. You're still streaming information out there. And it's going to be uh, a new way of connecting with the youth. But we're going to do it, Bill. We're going to be there. We're going to make this thing happen. And the World Diversity Summit is just one of many things that we're going to do. And again, big shout out to you. And, um, you know, I'm sure, you know, Catherine would be very proud of you, man. I got some last words because we're wrapping up. Or are you here? Hey, man, I, it's your floor, man. This is this is about you, brother. Okay, I just know that some things are on a time limit, so I just want to be respectful of that. But I, I heard you uh, say a couple things. Um, you know, you talked about, um, you know, the youth, you talked about the, the pandemic, COVID-19, okay? Mm -hmm. So I just want the viewers to know that, again, that transportation, you know, uh, the COVID-19 came over here through transportation, you yeah. know, and I don't think people really understand that. Um, so if it came over here through transportation, we have the expertise to be able to do something about it and work with it with the knowledge that we have with the technology to to stop it you see what i'm saying so again transportation and technology and there's the the, the doctors and the scientists right now i understand that there might be a cure um which they've been working on for a while um but again it started with transportation rodney and transportation is transport from point a to point b yeah that's and, that's, right. and that's what we do so that's why we need to keep that into our schools because a vehicle you mm -hmm. people have to work on it whether it be the tires uh yeah. you know uh, checking you know, the oil and if it's not oil you're still going to be working on it if it's all electric you know yeah. we have to have a transport one of one of my dreams Rodney. okay and i've quoted this many times um many times i feel like dr martin luther king jr that i mm -hmm. have a dream and my dream is one day that all the boys and girls would be able to get a transportation and technology class, some kind of education in high school. There you go. I think that I think that high schools is the very, very one thing that can make people or break people. It, it happened to me my junior year, uh, summer of my junior year, going into my senior year. Man, yeah. I, I was, that's when I came to my own. People couldn't tell me anything. When I was senior, you know, uh, you know, I got that from from a vehicle. I had a 65 Ford Mustang uh, when I was a sophomore and it, it built my confidence. You know, I was driving around. I didn't have to ask people. Uh, yeah, all kinds of people were, were piling into my car waiting for me to come pick them up, you know, so it was kind of a, a cool, fun thing. But as I look back, Rodney, mm -hmm. this is kind of the things that we need to do still today. They, it works. Mm -hmm. uh, as, yeah. I see us, as I see us taking driver's ed out of high school, um, I, I think that that's a, an issue for us. I, I think that's something that we can put back. Um, it, it's just the powers to be to make these decisions. And this is what, you know, the hidden pioneers are 
are poised to do, you know, to get the information out um, as to why and how real news, real time, not fake news. That's right. right. That word fake news keeps coming up, but not with hidden pioneers. Uh, but you it's know, all real. we're the real deal. Uh, yep. We like what we do. In fact, we love what we do. Mm -hmm. And we want to inspire, motivate, educate, um, and help people like we did with Jennifer uh, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a good career, you know, uh, something right. that they can make great money in. But we know that they don't know about these careers. This is something that we know. So right. if you don't know about something, Rodney, how can mm -hmm. you really pursue it? Wow. Amazing. And hey, and big, and big shout out to uh, Lucid. Talk about Lucid Automotive a little bit. Oh, man. You know what? We, we have, Ronnie, there's so many things, you know, that are happening right now. But yes, mm -hmm. Lucid Motors. Um, Derek, Derek Jenkins. Derek Jenkins has been to my school. He's a hidden pioneer. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Derek. How you doing? Great guy. He used to work at Mazda before. And, wow. um, you know, he's got a son that's kind of thinking about some kind of uh, aerospace or engineer. Um, wow. and, and his son is, is still not really so sure. So it... Can you imagine at, right at the high school level, we can change them. But uh, this car that Lucid has, amazing. I mean, you can just go to lucidmotors.com. And yeah. I mean, they have videos. They talk about the battery. They talk about the technology. They talk about how they, they hired a lady to design the interior based on the weather in Southern California. I mean, this is, this is like incredible, inspiring stuff, even for me. Yeah. It is. And I've been in this industry for many years, uh, mm -hmm. Rodney. Um, so we're we're really counting on Lucid Motors to help us with this uh, this summit, and um, we know that they have a great car. Um, mm -hmm. They've been working on it for years. Uh, they have uh, a plant in Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, and and they really they they really use a team. Derek was telling me that they went from like five people to like seventeen hundred mm -hmm. in, in a few years. I mean. It's incredible uh, growth and, and, and great people they have. So Lucid Motors, we're, we're happy to have you involved. Uh, we're looking for great things. And Rodney, you know, I, when I pitched the, I don't want to tell people right now, but I sent that deck over to you, you know, and, that we're, and that's what we do, Rodney, it's Hidden Pioneers. Yeah. We connect the dots. Mm -hmm. And it's always about the people. The right. people and it's a win-win. You know, the I mean, people we'll... make the company, Rodney. The people make the products. Yeah. Okay. And the people make other people, you sure. know? So th th this, this whole connecting the dots, again, just like transportation and technology, mm -hmm. we, we take it for granted. And right. um, people like the hidden pioneers that are humble about it, uh, I'm trying to get us out there in this media uh, world that we live in. Right. Um, and uh, we're, we're happy to, to talk about it and we're happy to help. And wow. you're going to push people like you, um, you know, the, the media guys. I've always told you, Rodney, we need media. You know, hey. we got to let people know what's going on. It's all about media. And you've been doing your thing. And it's, it's not easy. But uh, wow. right now, Rodney, we're, we're here. I'm blessed. It's, a, it's Sunday. It's a great day. One day at a time, Rodney. One blessed day go. at a time. That's right. And Bill, and I appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming on and spending a little time with us. Again, Bill. Tell the viewers out there, how can they learn more about Hidden Pioneers? Well, man, right. I'm, I'm going to try and keep it uh, simple and quick because we have so many things out there. We got Facebook, Instagrams, yep. uh, but, you know, Montgomery'sPioneers.com. Yeah. That's where you're going to really see uh, the profiles of people. Uh, it's, like, it's almost like a, a news information piece. You know, we, we keep it current. Um, so Montgomery's Pioneers.com, you can learn about the Hidden Pioneers, but the summit information, we have a landing page, and that's hiddenpioneers.com. That'll bring you to the landing page. It'll tell you specifically when, where, who, how, and why wow. we're doing what we're doing to try and get more people involved with transportation and technology, which is everything that we do, Rodney. I'll say yep. it again. Well, Bill, hey. That's it. We're going to definitely keep in touch with you. I'm going to be there for the World Diversity Summit. I'm going to be one of the guest speakers and, and helping out there. And that's going to be taking place here at the Downey Space Center. 
in beautiful that's on Saturday. Bay, California. Yeah, it's on Saturday. And Sunday, we're mm-hmm. going to be over at Boris Said's uh, BMW dealership. And yep. Boris Said is another uh, great hidden pioneer. He's actually racing with the sun today, Rodney. I'm not sure if you knew that. And uh, like I said, Boris is great. We've been friends for a long time. Uh, Ronnie, this, again, this isn't our first rodeo with what we're trying to do, but it is our first annual diversity summit. Uh, so we want everybody, please support this summit because we have a chance to change the image and the culture. Mm-hmm. And let's create that movement so that that way people will call on us to say, how can they help? Not us going around knocking on the door begging them to do That's what right. we know is right for the youth. That's right. Well, hey, I'm sure we'll have plenty of people and we're going to get this out there, Bill. Keep pushing, keep doing all the great work you're doing. You. Keep you. connecting those hidden pioneers and keep telling that story, man, because it's all about the youth, transportation, technology. We're here, Bill. We got you back. And thanks for coming on with us, man. International, worldwide. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at the summit. That's right. See you at the summit. Everybody, we get ready to take a quick break. And again, that's Mr. Bill Montgomery, CSI Bill. There you go. Thanks for coming on with us, Bill. All right. Thank you. All right, man.